not Hamadi, Egypt, December 1945. A farmer discovers a sealed earthenware jar containing 13 leather-bound papyrus books. These books, now known as the Nag Hammadi Codices, were written by the early Christians known as Gnostics in the first several centuries AD. These mysterious texts contain the Gospels of Thomas and Philip, as well as other previously unknown secret Gospels. Mixed in with the religious writings are poems, instructions for mystical practice, and a description of the origin of the universe. That shed a great deal of light on early religious issues, biblical texts, and biblical history. And but they made a mention of a very mysterious race of creatures that have become known as the Archons. We don't really know what the Archons were or even are. What's interesting is that there is a, actually a depiction and a description of the Archons looking definitively reptilian. They're very robot-like, very machine-like, and therefore very predictable. And given that you see the machine-like nature of so many reptilian animals and uh, what have you in, in the human society, there is a correlation between the two and why why the reptilian form is so common an expression of this machine-like, unemotional, computer-like mentality. Is it possible the stories of the Archons really are describing reptilian humanoid beings? And might our own so-called reptilian traits really be the product of alien engineering? People focus on the Garden of Eden story in the Bible as if it's a one-off. Look around the world and you'll find similar stories on a similar theme. It seems to be talking about when humans were created, Adam and Eve. I would strongly suggest from my research that actually it's not talking about that at all. It's talking about the point when human genetics were interfered with and genetically manipulated. And so humans became at that point themselves a hybrid which had a great infusion i would suggest of what i would call archon genetics symbolically the serpent in the garden of eden and one suggestion is that the whole idea of the garden of eden was nothing else but some type of a lab a lab that was run by extraterrestrials in which we were ultimately created are human beings really the product of genetic manipulation by extraterrestrial visitors? And were our ancestors some form of reptilian human hybrid? Many ancient astronaut theorists say yes. And they believe that reptilian humanoids not only existed on our planet tens of thousands of years ago, but that they are alive and well and living among us to this day. Okay, guys. Now, I'm here to just to debunk some of this. Now, let's go a little bit back. I got you guys. Um, some of the stuff that they were telling were truths and all that. The Orcon part. There's different types of Orcons. You could be an Orcon. I could be an Orcon. You don't have to look like a reptile. You don't have to look like a, an insectoid for you to be an Orcon. You could literally, for kind of loud... That's why they were that's why some of them are called energy vampires. You know, you know how some people just want to take other people's energy. And there's people out here that are like that. You know, normal people. And most of us would be like, Are you fucking stupid? What's wrong with you? And then they act like oh it's hot shit and everything like that. But subconsciously they are they are fucking all kind. They're gone. They're they're they're, they're long gone. They're not a person anymore. Or if there was, they were slowly becoming something else. You know? That's what happens. That's why in you that's why in sometimes in your video games you see someone becoming evil. Like for example, if you watched um well if you played Kingdom Hearts 3, you see Buzz Lightyear not trusting Saga and the others, and then all of a sudden darkness starts growing inside of him and he starts for kind of loud, he looks like Goofy and freaking shoots at him. I mean I mean he, well Saga actually and Goofy needs to fucking shield it and crap. That shit was awesome. That part was awesome. That's the only highlight that I love about Kingdom Hearts 3, but moving on, that's just an example if you played the game. Um but uh let, let's see and 
but they made a mention of a very mis- See, yes, some all kinds look like Riptonians. And, and yes, these, these fucking Riptonians, yes, they all machine-like, okay? They fucking all, and I know because I fought them before, right? I'm called a fucking Draconian Slayer in the Astro Realm for a reason. And yes, they're all scared of me. Um, it is funny too, though, that they show this. You know, shows a cobra. You know, and there are some reptilians that do look like this. For kind of that, they showed it in um the movie of um Fear Lordy in Las Vegas. Some reptilians look like this with horns and all that shit. I'm not, I'm serious. Watch that movie. And the, yes, they're all um, reptilians that have a head of a Komodo dragon. Yes, that is true. And if you look at um, Egypt, there's a reptilian that has a crocodile head. You know? And <coughs> David Icke, I have nothing against him or anything like that. I want to say this. That whole thing of him saying that we, um, the, the, the reptilians are like machine-like and everything like that, they are. But it's funny that they showed a cobra. Because a cobra is symbolizing of, if you look in Egypt, symbolizing with your third eye and everything like that. I'll get to that soon when they talk about the um, Garden of Eden. And um, that's why um, the, the, the pharaoh had a stuff around his head, you know. And yes, it did have a freaking um, vulture on it. Why? Because the reptilians were there. They, they, they were telling you the Dracos were there at that time of Egypt. But guess what? The Dracos had to worship us. Yes, us. Carbon people, all right? You know why? Because we were the original dragon. That's why you saw a cobra right next to a fucking, um, fucking, a Draco reptilian. Because the Dracos had no choice but to fucking worship us. They were scared of us. That, that's why most people are like, okay, so that, is that how we fell and everything like that? If you put the pieces together, yes, basically. They came here around that time. That's how you know. That's if you really look at your history for a minute, you know? Um, and then eventually these Caucasian people came, you know, um, not to say it, not to say it's not possible that all of them came at the same time. Um, that's just a theory that I'm thinking, because sometimes when you look at things, it looks like they came at the same time, but it looks like they came one after another. It's like if they had a plan together or something like that, um, it, it, which they did, but I'm trying to think if the, if that happened earlier before they were like on earth, then planning it, you know? So, hey, it could happen. You know, these evil beings, man, they, they saw us because they went to the God planet. This used to be the God planet. It still is the God planet and it's going, still going to be the God planet at the end of the day. You know, there's, there's so many beings that tried to destroy this planet and this planet has never been destroyed. It's been, it's been battered and bloody and beaten and broken, but it has never been destroyed. Never. Because there's beings out here, like you and me, that are carbon, that are dark skinned, that you would call black or Afro Hispanic, basically made this planet. We made this planet, and 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 um and some of and when you see galaxies, that's all that's us basically. So going back to this, I don't want to um last that long. Possible the stories of the Archons really are describing reptil. Well, let's see. So, yeah, some of them are reptilians, like like I said again. And genetically manipulated. Oh, yeah, let's go back right here. It's talking about the point. Hold on. Adam. Okay, the Adam and Eve one. Okay. Adam and Eve. Remember the whole story of why the serpent is going to the woman? The reason the serpent is going to the woman is because the woman is fuss. The woman is, also, is fuss. Why? Because everything starts with the woman. Most people are like, but doesn't the doesn't the woman need the sperm of the man to create a child? Yes, but in ancient times, guys, there's a reason. At the end of that video that you saw, this video basically, there's a reason by at the end of this video they literally said that um that our ancestors were reptilian basically millions of years ago basically. They even they they telling you this. They literally telling you this. Why is because in ancient times. We were male and female, and those were the normals. Those were, um, those were us in ancient times. We look like male and female. We can reproduce, but also have sex with, um, with um, other beings or with um, with our own kind, basically. You know, so this whole thing right here, literally, this is the stem of your back. This right here 
is your brain. And the snake that's crawling around or serpently around is your kundalini. And then the apple is supposed to resemble most people with the third eye. But wait a minute. How is it supposed to resemble the third eye if, if your brain's right here and the snake is right here where the middle is supposed to be, you know? Had it right here and everything. This is supposed to be the herb you're supposed to take. Why do you think she's grabbing it? Most people are like, it's an apple. But if you really research and know your ancient knowledge of um of um Egypt and other civilizations, e if you look at Egypt, for example, they have people with heads that look like almost like combs and everything like that. But when you really look deep in it, they actually are mushrooms. Yes, this is a mushroom. It looks like it's growing from a, a from a tree, but to be honest, can you, it looks like the serpent has the branch in his mouth and passing it to her. That's what it looks like to me in this picture. Is that that is that what it looks like? I mean, call a spade a spade. I mean, who knows? Maybe this is not the the greatest detail of the picture. So who knows? Maybe someone can find it and, and um correct me with that. But still, it does look like it, she, um, the snake is passing it to her, you know? So, and that goes back to um, all carbon people back in the day. We created Caucasian people, some of us. Um, Eve. They even made, made, made it here. I would strongly suggest from my research that actually it's not talking about that at all. It's talking about the point when human genetics were interfered with and genetically manipulated. And so humans became at that point themselves a hybrid, which had a great infusion, I would suggest, of what I would call Archon genetics. Now he said Archon genetics. It's not Archon genetics, dude. It's not. I don't know what the fuck they're telling you, or I don't know what the fuck you're saying right here. Because it's not all con genetics. I've just told you, you've seen this video, I just told you what it is. About the tree, and then with the serpent on it, it's literally the kundalini and your brain. Literally, guys. For kind of loud, there's trees everywhere that it's literally telling you it's a brain. <laughs> and that's why you can go to a tree and touch it and connect with it, with your imagination. It can actually talk to you, and you can talk to it. And connect with mother nature okay because mother nature is an organism and she has stuff coming out of her have you noticed that the logo for the covid va um, covid vaccine literally imagine that as a planet imagine the the, the sucker covid as a planet and the things that are popping out with trees imagine that you're not thinking you're not thinking that's not, go, that's not going to my subscribers, because my subscribers would have been like, holy shit. But that just that, that goes to people that are hard-headed as fuck and don't want to learn. People, the people that do want to learn, thank you for listening. You guys deserve you guys deserve all the credit in the world, and you're going to a brighter timeline. You know, you're helping yourself, you know, basically. Because you're looking up the information yourself and look um, subscribing to people like me. So, going back. A long time ago, you see how this looks like a naga? Long time ago, I even heard a story that Osiris, that's the reason why Osiris was called the snake in the garden. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the reason why he gave the apple to quote unquote Adam and Eve. But the thing is, Adam and Eve is literally from the orcs the orcs make that shit up okay and literally this is us Co color people this is us we're the serpent we've been the serpent for years why do you think they call us beasts in the bible all right what do you think they call us nigga nigga naga it still means the same word it does there's no, what is it? There's no I, I believe, in the African language, guys. There was never an I from what I've researched. There was always Naga. 
or whatever you want to say it, or Nagini, which is the female of Anaga, a female snake. So we created Caucasian people. There was a being, there was a brother that was Anaga that created Caucasian people. And a long time ago, you Caucasians found out who it was and you found out that it was black or color or a brother, basically. And you know what you did? You know what you decided to do? You decided to make your own statue of a man and called him Zeus. And then eventually it translated to Jesus because there was no J before. You can look this shit up. This is not a lie. There was never a J into what? The 15 or 1400s, maybe later than that, you know? There was a never a J in ancient times. We never used vowels or all of that shit, guys. We never did. That's why, if you looked at my videos, that's why I said that in ancient times, we talk like, We talk in a language. We talked in a dragon language. No one didn't wrote it down or anything like that. These are languages of the universe. These are languages that we spoke. That's why we can do things that you, you see in Harry Potter, you know? Every time Harry Potter says um, that word, Espeliamis, we said that, but we said it in our native tongue, Escalilamis, you know? Sapa Sarabra, Abba Kadabra, Sapa Sarabra. Most people think it's a joke and shit, but it's literally true. Your own language is literally your own fucking temple of who you are it's literally a vibration you that's why your organs are called organs for a reason they're, they're instruments so when you are inside of you it's walking inside of you and what does that have to do with your creation well um you could do the same thing like us but the only difference is is that you don't have a lot of carbon in you some of your ancestors you might have more carbon than other Caucasian people because of your ancestors, but some of you don't. And a lot of people want to fight over this shit, but it's it's 100% fact and true. And these are, are, are the people that don't want to tell you shit. These are the people that want to say this shit and then and want to lie to you about it, basically. You know? And when you see this picture, people want to get scared of the serpent. But you, got, you guys got to remember, have you ever heard of a garden snake before? This is basically a garden snake. Have you ever heard of a garden snake eating fucking people? It didn't ever say anaconda for crying out loud, you know? Like, e e even so, we, even so, we were different people back then. We literally turned into this. And a lot of people, some people even said, no, we didn't turn into this. This is just what it is, the imagination or some shit like that. Or it's just your interpretation of, of, um, of the of the Kundalini basically like that. And I'm just like, are you guys high? You mean to tell me these evil beings didn't get scared for no reason just for that? They got scared because they saw us look like this. And they also got scared because we saw they saw us having powers that you see in literally in Dragon Ball Z and in Star Wars and in Harry Potter. We did all of those things combined. And we going back to that color people. And if you're Caucasian, basically, and you have ancestors or color, this has nothing to do with your own kind being gone, basically. Because that is, don't blame me. This is this is what's been written already in in tablets and shit. It's been talked about for generations upon generations. The the Nomos, the, the fucking um the Dogon tribe know know this shit. The for kind of loud. What is it? The Dogon tribe. The Dogon tribe knew the Celia star system before these scientists did. And then oh, then over here they're like, how, how do, do they know this? They have no technology. It's because they're in tune with themselves. They're balanced with themselves. And yes, they got information from, from the gods. From us. From us. Think about that. And they came here too to incarnate to give us information too. But we need to go deep inside of us to find that knowledge because we can find that inside of us anyways. And they know that. So let's continue on a bit.
symbolically the serpent in the Garden of Eden. And one suggestion is that the whole idea of the Garden of Eden was nothing else but some type of a lab. A lab that was run by extraterrestrials in which we were ultimately created. Yep. Our human and the thing is, let me point this out. They're saying humans. Humans. Color people are not humans, guys. Seriously. If you're color, if you're a brother, and you think that you're part of these humans, you're not. You're totally different. There's a reason why they treat you differently, man. There's a reason why some, not all, but there's a reason why some white people treat us like shit. You know? Again, not all, but some, you know? And, and a long time ago, the founding fathers came here and they found and they, they, they knew all of this shit. They, when they found all of this shit out, that, that's when they decided to just were like, no, you guys don't deserve it. They looked at color people saying, you don't deserve it. That's why they, that's why the movie Avatar was made to show us what the founding fathers did. They, they, took, they took all our towers down and everything. Beings, <sighs> really the product of genetic manipulation by extraterrestrial visitors. Yes. And were our ancestors some form of reptilian human hybrid? Not human hybrid. Your ancestors, to be honest, yes. Your ancestors were reptilians. Yes, the Nagas created Caucasian people, but we also had all people. And some of our people made it with your people. And it's funny that it goes connect to the Bible sometimes when it goes to whole of the giants and shit. Like all the gods had sex with immortals and then they made giants. When you really think about it, at least for me, when I think about it, it's like we are the colored people are called gods and goddesses. And the Caucasian people are the immortal ones. Literally, they are. I'm sorry to tell you, you guys are. I don't know what to tell you. What kind of allow you guys have a lifespan? You do. If your ancestors are not, are not in color, basically, you have a lifespan. That's why Zeus made you what you are. He created you, basically. Most people want to call him Enki or Enlil. I don't know. It's one of those two. I don't fucking goddamn know what the fucking these fucking two brother stories man i mean hope both of them are bad at the same time you know what it doesn't fucking goddamn matter because what matters is any evil being is going to be destroyed and it's going to be fighting against us soon whether you like it or not okay and all of our brothers and sisters are going back to what we were before okay you know and think about this. When they show Jesus or some shit like that, why do you always give him wavy hair and everything like that? That's telling you something, man. He's not... They, they literally, in a way, the, the Jesus figure is literally what color people wore until they were like, okay, this is what they, this, this color person looks like. Let's take that and make a Caucasian person out of it so everyone can worship it. And not to say there's not a God like that, there actually is. And he's the one that literally makes you feel bad and gets you reincarnated in the matrix when you go into the light. Yeah. Don't believe me? Fine. But you will forget everything once you go to the light anyway. So that's why you got to turn around and go to the darkness. And all of a sudden, you got to tell yourself, I want to go to the cosmos. And guess what? You will see fucking the cosmos. You see everything, man. You know? Many ancient astronaut theorists say yes. And they believe that reptilian... See, they even admit it. ...humanoids not only existed on our planet tens of thousands of years ago, but that they are alive and well and living among us to this day. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> but... There's reptilians, there's insectoids, there's nagas, there's naginis... To be honest, you're humans, you're Caucasian people, to be honest, you you are surrounded by myths and legends and 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 and, and things that you will see in video games and in cartoons and shit. You guys are surrounded by that shit. And to be honest, 
some of you might be loving that shit. Others might be fucking terrified because they don't want that shit. They don't want that life. But guess what? Your founding fathers put you in that life. So what you want me to tell you? When there's when, when there's beings that are not supposed to be here that come here, what do you think is supposed to happen? Oh, you're entitled. Entitled what? You came here. It's not my fault. Yes, it is. Because you are here still, basically. Meaning that I'm here too. Meaning that in ancient times, you fucking took me out. And I saw you in ancient times. Why do you think we're all here? You think we're here just because, oh, what? Remember, we some of us reincarnated. Some of us reincarnated more than once. Some of us reincarnated just now, basically. You know? So... The reason I'm mentioning that is because we're different. We're literally different from each other. We have a different origins from you guys. And, and some of you guys, when you find out your origins, some of you guys are going to be pissed off. Either because you've been lied to or, be, or because you don't want that origins. But to be quite honest, what do you want me to tell you? you, are, you your origins is different from us. We're from the skies. You are from the dirt. But we created you to work with some of you to work in the mines. The founding father ones, we didn't create. We didn't create the founding fathers. Oh no, 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 no. Don't 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 correct that. Or don't don't misconstrue that. When the founding fathers came here, they decided to fucking splice everything. Alright? To fuck up a lot of shit. That's why if you look at um Sorry, that's why if you look at um texts, I mean like um um monuments and everything or pictures and everything of um ancient stuff, you would literally see a brother with curly hair and everything like that, but he's tan basically, like um Caucasian, but he has horns on him basically, meaning that you guys back in the day were breeding with each other also, but also splicing DNAs with each other, because some of you realize that you guys can't breed with one another. For that long, because you guys will start dying out, at least the Caucasian side, because you guys are in a galaxy that you guys are not made to be in. That's why when you go out of the fucking planet, you burn up and die. <laughs> because you're not color. You went to a galaxy, you went to a dimension that is full of color people and full of plasma, and you can't take plasma. Are you stupid? Now, 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 now you guys, the, the founding fathers, are you stupid? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, man. Goodness gracious. It's funny. It's just funny to me how, how things like that happen. It's like, were you thinking? No, they weren't thinking. They weren't. Your founding fathers weren't thinking, man. Your ancestors weren't thinking. But again, going back to what I said. Like I, like I said, if you find out that, hey, you're not part of the Founding Fathers, okay, but if you find out that you're all, well, then you find out that you're all. I don't know, again, if you're not, you're not, then you're all, you're all, you know? It's just that the ones that 